You want to be one of the mysterious R&B niggas that drop like one or two songs a year? Tap into this video. I got you. This the blueprint. Oh, and I got the tempo at 68. Any weird tempos like 68, 63, you know what I mean? 88. But you just want to just make sure it's like some weird shit. You know what I mean? You just want to put reverb on everything. So just open up that reverb. Where is that? Let's turn that bitch up. There we go. We already saw the kind of mysterious. All right, so we gonna go. And it's all about just making shit that don't make sense. Then we can add one more note to be mysterious. That's perfect. Hey, that's perfect. You see, you hear that? Man, don't let one of them mysterious niggas hear this bit. They gonna want that. All right, but the most important thing when you making these mysterious R&B beats for these niggas, you know what I'm saying? If this is you, you got to make sure you get some sort of noise that comes in and out that's just different, that just don't fuck with the beat. That's going to let the hoes know, oh, he for real, you know what I mean? You can have that going. They're going to like, okay, he different, but if you get that one noise that... That's going to be the one. I'm trying to tell you. When you're doing a kick, the kick has to be... All right, let me look at y'all. When you're doing the kick, when you're doing the kick for these weird R&B beats, you got to make sure that the kick is like, it's hitting hard and make sure that that bitch come in random as fuck. So we're going to put it in twice here, three times here. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. And then the pattern should restart. <laughs> You can talk about your heartbreak, the hoes gonna fuck with that hard. You can talk about your heartbreak, uh, you can talk about how dirty you do bitches, but you know, they gonna fuck with that. But if you talk about your heartbreak and the more complex, the better. And then you have to use words with a lot of syllables too. So you wanna talk about like um, perspective, um, confusion, um, just different things. You want to use a lot of metaphor, metaphors and just make sure they make sense but don't make sense. Uh, make sure the video is in black and white or you can use one tone. You can use, like, just just saturate the fuck out. Make that bitch just, you know what I mean? Like, faded. You know what I mean? You can use an old video camera. Make sure you're sitting in the hotel covering your face in the corner like this, mad as hell, looking down. You know, have her on the phone slamming that bitch. Um... Now, hairstyle, what you want to do with that is you want to make sure that you got some braids, some dreads, or like you got just a mustache, right? Just the mustache with nothing under it, cut all this off. Uh, some sort of piercing somewhere. You can have one here. You can do the septum. Um, the weirder, the better. You can have that shit there. That I see niggas be having that sometimes. You know, make sure it's visible so the whole see they know that this nigga for real about his art. Uh, outline of a shape, you can do that. That'd be sweet. Some sort of outline of a shape, you can get a, a cube or something and just make sure it's slightly slanted a little bit. And you can put like somebody's random birthday somewhere, a line there. Okay, post it. Post the one song for the whole year and then... Once people, you see you got like, you know, a whole bunch of hoes in the comments, put a snippet up of the new one and say you dropping soon, but never drop that bitch. And they gonna, the hoes gonna keep playing your snippet. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. The mysterious RB nigga, you gotta be, you gotta be locked in with that shit. Don't post no trailers and no new shit. Just be in the studio. Post pictures of you in the studio, but don't play no music. Let them see you working, but don't let them know what you doing. Be mysterious, stay mysterious.